फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अभिव्यक्ति इंडिया फ्यूचर क्लासरूम एंड इन टूडेज एपिसोड वी विल डिस्कस सेवन कॉमन मिस्टेक्स दैट स्टूडेंट्स मेक वाइल प्रिपेयरिंग मैथ्स एग्जाम हियर इज द फर्स्ट टिप फॉर टू यू दैट डू नॉट एस्केप प्रैक्टिस मोस्ट ऑफ द चिल्ड्रन दे एस्केप प्रैक्टिस स्टूडेंट्स इवन दो यू फील यू हैव प्रैक्टिस अ लॉट बट रिमेंबर इट्स अ ह्यूमन टेंडेंसी टू फॉरगेट so keep on practicing because practice makes a man perfect and therefore i always say keep calm and go practice 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 and practice that will take you to the echelons of the success you never know where you get stuck in a question so to avoid such accidents practice is the most important the second tip is do not be over confident definitely you will ask me a question that what is the difference between a confident student and over confident student remember here that a confident student says i do mistakes but try not to repeat them and the over confident student says that i am too perfect to make any mistake so he agrees that i never make any mistake and so such category of student is called as over confident student one agrees that i do the mistake but i do not repeat them at least i try not to repeat them and the other says that i am so perfect that i never make a mistake and this is the main difference between the confident and over confident student friends i divide brain into two parts one part is a ram part and another part is a hard disk ram part is a short term memory and the hard disk is a long term memory whenever you revise the knowledge goes from ram to the hard disk means it is saved to the hard disk it means it is in the long term memory now you will feel that when it is in a long term memory there is no need to revise and that happens with the over confident student he feels that now i have saved everything in my hard disk and now there is nothing to revise now i am confident and over confident but friends remember even though it is in your hard disk after some days you forget where the file is saved and to avoid that accident you have to open that file regularly that is we have to revise the topic regularly so don't over confident please open the file regularly read it i mean revise the topic regularly even though it is in your hard disk the third tip is that focus on ncert books friends for studying as a majority of the exam revolves around ncert books and therefore ncert book is must also practice for other books in addition to ncert book and also do not throw away ncert book once you have solved all the questions solved as well as unsolved from the ncert book but keep on solving uh, the same questions again and again which are in the ncert book and that is very very necessary because the examination revolves around the ncert book only therefore use the ncert mathematics books on a regular basis the fourth tip is that do not just memorize the formula understand it do not cram the formula once socrates said tell me i remember show me sorry tell me i forget show me i remember and involve me i understand to understand you will have to involve yourself so involve by solving sufficient examples of each and every formula that you are studying so that the formula will be at the tip of your tongue 
otherwise what happens at the examination time only we forget the simple formula and then we say are bhai main to solve kar sakta tha magar formula bhul gaya yaad hi nahi aaya so to avoid such accidents please practice and solve problems to understand the formulae next tip that is the fifth one is do not ignore the questions on skill the questions asked on graphs augue and constructions etc are skill based your skill is tested it means the cleanliness neatness sharpness and how you use the pencil compass and rubber so these things are tested while asking these questions and so it is very necessary that you have to solve the questions which are asked on skill or based on skill regularly so that the cleanliness neatness and the sharpness while drawing the graphs while constructing the triangles or while drawing the augue and once you achieved that skills then it is very easy to achieve full marks in such question the next that is sixth tip is that cure yourself from the disease of procrastination we have a disease of procrastination dear friends remember if you have doubts about any question or the topic please do not wait try to clear your doubts at the earliest come out of the disease of the procrastination do not prolong do that immediately kal kare so aaj kar aaj kare so ab follow this method so that you will come out of the disease of procrastination and you will solve your doubts immediately the seventh tip and the last tip is that do not use shortcut methods while practicing questions friends develop the habit of writing all necessary step steps while practicing we cannot afford shortcuts in maths because once you have developed that habit while practicing then in the examination also you will write in the same way but in the examination it is expected that you have to write each and every important step and therefore do not use shortcut methods while practicing questions friends thank you very much i hope you must have enjoyed this video if yes please share it with your friends like it and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet because you will get all updates right into your mailbox thank you very much